What's up everyone, it's Jomi here, and today we're going to continue the Atlantean CD story. If you guys remember, we broke, I broke up the story that I recorded into three parts because of how long the recording is. But this is part three, we're going to be talking, we're going to be going through um, Lucy's story and her talking to her Aunt Luna inside Atlantean City. If this is your first time watching my channel or you end up liking today's video, make sure you like and subscribe. Or just click the bell and set to all notifications to never miss out on the upload. Oh, you made it. Here you go, eat up. Is this your friend that you were talking about? You were telling me about Lucy? Yes, this is Jomi. Jomi, this is my Aunt Luna. It's nice to meet you there. Lucy has told me a lot, a lot of good things about you. Yeah, Aunt Luna and I had a lot of time to catch up on. We took a walk through the park while I told her some about what I told her about some of our recent adventures. Thanks to the city's climate regulators, the park always feels like a beautiful early summer day. It is also the only place in the city where a light wind is simulated. Atlantean, oh my god, Atlantean Park is this place to find peace and find peace amid the fast paced city life. We were just passing over the bridge when I spotted those cute little Lumians. I fed them some of my Lumian food because they looked hungry. They were adorable, I couldn't help myself. You are always so kind to Lumians, Lucy. The way you care not just for your own Lumian companions, but for all Lumians. It was always warm my heart. Oh, Aunt Luna. It's, it, it was you who taught me, it was you who taught me care for Lumians. It was, it was you who taught me care for Lumians. Okay, that makes sense. Remember the summer, Lucas and I spent here with you? We found a close to feed vine in an alley. You had just purchased some feeds for your own lumens, but you ended up feeding most of it to the stray feed vine. I'm impressed you remember that, Lucy. You and Lucas were so young then. Ever since, I've always gone out of my way to help a lumen in need. Taking care of lumen is just part of who I am. One day, I want to work as a lumen care precision. Precision. That sounds, that sounds like the perfect job for you, Lucy. But before I can do that, I need to help Jomi finish. That's actually why I'm here. I want to ask you something. Here, there, what is it that you want? Ha 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 ha. Look at how scared it is. What's wrong with you, dumb Lumian? You want some of this delicious sandwich? Well, too bad. This little bar is so dumb. You kicked it twice and it's still begging you for food. We'll just have to teach you, teach you a lesson it won't forget. I'm gonna throw it in the pond and see if it's to swim. Haha, <laughs> good idea. My goodness, did you hear all that? The way they're treating that poor little bar is absolutely horrible. I can't believe anyone would treat would think it's okay to treat an innocent, starving creature like this. Hey, what are- Ah! Hey, what was that for? How could you treat an innocent, starving Lumion like that? It didn't do anything to you. Only a criminal would treat an innocent creature the way you two did. What's your problem? I don't care about some dumb stray. It's not my job to take care of it. Yeah, what he said. You know what I think, Neil? We should teach this girl a lesson. We're gonna teach... We should teach this girl the lesson we were gonna teach that dumb Lumion. Yeah, let's teach her. Bring it on. Lucy is very kind to Lumion, but when it comes to human, she tends to let her emotion take over and it can get her in trouble. From time to time, it looks like he's going to have to battle those those delinquents. I like how she used delinquents. That's su that's such an old person word. You may need to go back her up. So is it gonna be a double battle now? During play games, help me deal with these bullies. Oh, here's a double battle. I forgot. Steel, Steel, and Neil. Okay, Umbrat. So we have two dark type Lumians. All right, and so. If we have a dark type Lumion, then we need a light type Lumion, which would be Geklo in this case, right? I'm pretty sure. And also, I think air, I think air type moves are also effective against dark type. If I'm sure, I'm not, I'm not completely sure on that. It should be though, right? Accuracy is Goom Flames on us. Oh no, that's not gonna be good actually. It's not. Yep, and there goes Geklo because I already knew we're not that strong. Like we're we're getting there. We're getting there. We're not too strong. Where we can like get attacked and stuff, so we have to be careful. Alright, let's switch to 
I didn't know I put um Ashton down here. That's actually bad because I would need to use them. But that's fine. We can do do. Let's just use Sedamars. I think Earthquake is a move that attacks both people. Uh, double type, double type. Yeah, it does, and it also uh, attacks other people as well. It attacks your person who's playing with you, but it's not affected against Wimpor. So Wimpor should be fine for the most part. Now, if there's another Lumion besides Wimpor, it might not be good, but we should be fine. They're directly attacked, so we should be fine with Earthquake. That should do a, a good amount of damage. Bank Cup, if we use that, will it take out? Will it take it out? It will. So let's not use that again. Uh, uh, this is not good. Let's see. Use it again. Let's see what it does. I just wish, I wish they wouldn't have moves that will also attack the people next to you. I don't, I feel like that doesn't make no sense. The point of you battling other, like in a double battle against other people is other people against you and not the people who you're actually trying to fight with on your team. Like, it wouldn't make sense. Now there's Fan Cup gone because I say he knocked it out, but there's nothing I can really do with that. Let's switch out to Erupted on. That should we should be able to do good with do some good with that. I don't know why they have it set up like that where it attacks your old T base and stuff in the battle as well. Right, Dark Surge. I think we might have to end the episode after this battle, I believe so. But I'm not, I'm not sure if we have enough time to keep going and continue what we need to do. With the story let's let's see what we can get to i forgot fire type moves are also affected against dark type that's true i should have used that okay there's lava slash that's gone cinemars okay everyone has gotten some boost which is good we need that all right sharpen and we should get ragu does he have one lumi or he has multiple does he have one Maybe he has multiple, I'm not sure. If he has one, that would be good, but he has multiple, that's not good either. I hope he only has one. Should be fine. We're up to done. That's gone. So do, do they have one Lumion? Okay, they still have more. I thought I thought so. I was like, where's the other Lumion? They must have more. Alright, so we do have a Dyborg, and that's a metal type, and we have an Orso, which is spirit type. So we can use let's see. 90. Seven. Let's use our fire breath on die board. That should be able to knock it out or at least get some good damage on it. So that should be fine for that. We have to be careful with our Lumions because we don't want to mess up Ragoon. Because I was going to use Earthquake. That would have been good, but I don't want to use him and then have him mess up because that's not good. Another blast. Ragoon might be might be gone. So let's see. Let's use Lava Slash this time. See what that does. I'm not sure if it does a difference though. I don't know what my what my um my stats are for um what call it you're up to down. I'm not sure if it's it's stronger in melee attack or if it's stronger in range attack. I'm not really sure on that part. But we should get some level up from this from this one. We should get some some levels from this. We should be able to get some good levels. Alright, so we have Urso and the spirit type. So if I do my thing correctly. Uh, spirit type. I don't think dark type do anything to them. I think I think Tokyo type should be able to do stuff. But if we need to switch out Eruptor, we need to switch out Eruptor done anyway, because it's low on health. So we should be able to do some good. And then let's see. Peck is good. Yeah, that's that's effective against Brawler type, which is Urso. Also, also, it's a spirit and a Brawler type, if I'm correct. So that should do some good. It is a star. Oh, seriously? Whatever. Yeah, y'all lost. I hope you two were the ones who learned a lesson today. The man's have feelings too. You wouldn't kick your own friends if they asked you for food, would you? Oh, uh, stop talking. You're making a sick and drink You're lucky I don't have time for a couple of losers like you anyway. We're going now. Yeah, what he said. Thank you so much for backing me up, Joey. That was really cool of you. That was a little reckless, don't you think, Lucy? I'm sorry, Aunt Luna. I can't just sit by and watch them treat that little Vari that way. They were going to keep hurting it unless someone stopped them. I know, and that is why I'm so proud of you, dear. Wait, really? Well, you could have done what well, you could have done without pushing them into the pond. Regardless, it took a lot of courage for you to stand up. 
turned up to those two. You knew it, it would it would result in a fight, yet you would still what well, you still stood up to them because you knew it was the right thing to do. And for that you have made me proud. And for you, Jomi, thank you for very much for helping to protect my niece. I can say without a doubt that she is in good hands with a friend like you around. Thank you, Aunt Luna. It means a lot to me coming from you. I think nothing of it, my dear. Now, what was it you wanted? All right, we actually came to Lincoln City look to look for something. And Luna, have you noticed anything uh, different in town? What do you mean different? Like we're different. Lumens are people acting strange or un unusually aggressive. Well, as you know, Modeka has been acting pretty strange lately. But I can't say I've noticed anything acting strange different differently in town. What? What's this thing? What's this about, Lucy? Let me explain. A dark stone that corrupts the mind of both Lumians and people? That sounds awful. So you think there's a stone like that here in Olympian? Well, we don't know. The three pieces that we found so far were near cities and our journey had brought us to Olympian City. Well, if I do notice anything out of the ordinary, I will give you a call straightway and let you all know. Thanks, Aunt Luna. I can always count on you. You're always welcome there. Oh, my Lucy, have a look behind you, huh? Oh, Var, you poor little thing. Are you so scared after what those bullies did? It still looks like it's hungry. It, like it's still hungry. Here, I still have some food left. Oh, Luna, where did these Lumias come from anyway? Did the children let them roam the city during the day or something? No, they are afraid they are abandoned. It's not uncommon for people to pick up a Lumia on the whim, and it's actually after what... Certainly after that they cannot take care of it. This typically leads to the Lumians being dead somewhere in the city. The Lumians usually find their way to the park where people will feed them scraps as they pass by. Eventually the city will capture the strays and take them to the surface to release them into the into the wild. Oh that's so sad. I can't believe people would be so careless. It is very sad. I come to the park all the time to feed the strays myself. I wish there was a better way to, to care for all these strays, but with the city being under the ocean, they are stuck. They are stuck and must rely on the kindness of strangers. You poor little guy, no wonder you were so hungry. Lucy, I just had an idea. Why don't you take care of this little bar as your your own Lumian? It feels quite un feels it feels quite comfortable around you. I'm sure you made it feel safe after you saved it from those bullies. Oh that's a wonderful idea. I wouldn't mind having this cute little Lumia on my team. What do you say to that Vari? Would you like to come? All right, hey guys, I'm not exactly sure what happened, but I believe because of all the space that all the the parts were taken up, the end of the clip of where Lucy and her, her story and everything was cut off. So basically at the end, you see how she was asking, Vari, do you want to be a part of my team? Vari says yes, and Vari is now one of her Lumians and stuff like that. And I, be, and I can't put a finger on it, but I believe that i think aunt luna says that we need to go to the gym i mean not the gym we need to go to the museum and then i think yeah you have to go to the museum there's like information that we can find there i believe so but i i, I vividly remember lucy saying at the end that once you're done or whatever come to the museum so the next video the goal is to continue from this part so you know we have all these parts um this episode and there were different parts of it so the goal is to continue from the end of the story of course you guys didn't see it but continue from there and then go to the museum so the next episode what we're going to do is that we're going to go to the museum and then do the story there which is going to be a, a, a um a whole nother segment so i'm not sure if that would take us much time but i might split that segment into two that way I will cover half of the story in that one half of it so it doesn't take up all the space like I did last time. But anyway guys, if you did end up enjoying today's video, make sure you like and subscribe and click the bell and set all notifications so you never miss out on an upload from me. Thank you for watching and I will see you guys in the next one. Peace.